Hello everybody, Smokey Smokes here. It's been a while since I've had a video, and it's been a really long time since I've had a pipe review, but more should be coming pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, this is my first corn cob pipe I ever got. It was very cheap. I think it was about $5.99 at Walgreens, actually. That's where I got it. This is the package it came with. Missouri Meerschaum Company Corn Cob Pipe, handcrafted in the USA since 1869. There's all this information down there. There's a SKU number. Stuff like that. There's just a little description on the back talking about the story of this pipe and all. Uh, basically, it's just, uh, there's so many kinds of corn cob pipes. You can get these for 99 cents online, uh, the really short ones, rather. This one's more of like a normal pipe length. It usually seem kind of shorter, but this is sort of like a normal length one. Uh, basically, it's just made out of a corn cob, and you have sort of like a plasticky material right here that's translucent. You can also see it comes with a pipe filter right in there, which is very handy, which I'll talk about that. You can remove the stem. It says pressure fit in. Just like an old pipe, and there's the filter, which you can remove or replace or do whatever with if you'd like. Basically, just kind of a series of papers, or long log of paper, whatever you want to call that. Uh, it smokes incredibly well. Very, very well. Uh, the bowl stays pretty cool. It does kind of heat up just like any other pipe, but I've noticed uh, compared to wooden pipes, compared to the briar wood, it smokes a little bit cooler. Now, the downside is that it's certainly not as durable. You can already see. I've only smoked a handful of bowls of this, and it's already kind of charring, and there's little nicks and stuff it came with. The consistency's not going to be fantastic, but for less than 10 bucks, there's really not a whole lot you can say about it. And if you get these for 2 bucks online, like, I'm serious, $2 shipped online, you can get these for. Maybe not this exact amount. I haven't looked up the website specifically, but I just got this at Walgreens. So locally, it was, like, less than 8 bucks, including tax. So that's that's very cheap, and I just I was dying to get it. I just saw it there, and I was like, man, I, I want that. I, I, I just want to get a pipe right now, and it's very cheap, and... It's going to cost me next to nothing. I've never had a corn cob pipe before. Why not? And so I got it. And it's really cool. And I like the kind of translucent colored uh, stems they use, which is kind of cool for some reason. It smokes really, really well. Haven't had any issues with it yet. Uh, the pipe filter, you can put these in most pipes, I think, do accept filters the way they shape their stems. Uh, and a filter basically just absorbs all of the liquid. You know, any liquid moisture from the tobacco that builds up at the bottom of the bowl and as you draw in it kind of slowly seeps up the stem and then it accidentally goes into your mouth and it's horrible and disgusting and bitter and terrible and that's always sucks but with the filter that helps prevent that from happening and that's really nice it's a much cleaner smoke the downside is that it can be a little bit more hard to draw on but I haven't really noticed any issues like that with this pipe in particular I haven't had any issues with it so it looks like it would be a sitter because there's a plateau there but it doesn't I mean it it doesn't sit like you'd think. It does. It's kind of a sitter because it doesn't just flop around like that, but indirectly, I guess. So, really not bad at all. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you can see there's already like, crumbs of it already coming apart. They're just not very durable. I hear they don't last forever. Most pipes kind of last forever. Maybe not entirely forever, but they last years and years and years. It does it does depend on what you do to it. it? Does depend how much you smoke with it, but. With the corn cob pipe, they're not meant to last forever. They're meant to be extremely cheap, and some people collect corn cob pipes solely to, well, not just to collect, but they also use them to test out new tobaccos that are like, you know, 40, 60, 80 years old, and they don't want to ghost their pipe with any disgusting flavors or anything like that, or any strong flavors. They don't have to necessarily be disgusting, but they don't necessarily want to ghost their pipes, and that means the old flavor kind of sitting within their pipe. If they have like a couple hundred dollar nice handmade briarwood pipe, they probably don't want to ghost that. Uh, it's usually it's sometimes impossible to unghost a pipe seemingly i have unghosted one of my pipes but it wasn't like super ghosted or anything so it's kind of possible to unghost it but it's not something you necessarily want to deal with especially if it's something really expensive and there's a chance you may not be able to so that's when these come in some people use these for that uh, very cheap like even a 99 cent one they get online from china shipped over and then they ghost it well are they out of luck? Not really. They just have a 99 cents uh, disposable pipe in a way. <laughs> I don't consider these corn cob pipes to be disposable, but a lot of people do treat them that, that way, and I can kind of see why. They're extremely cheap, but they are very usable. It's a very functional, nice pipe, and I've had a really good time smoking out of it. So, anyway, that is the uh, that is this corn cob pipe right here. This one specifically, again, is from the Missouri Meerschaum Company.